Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Andrew Wasker Delta, welcome back to The Walking Dead in the last episode. Well, we got bit by the dog, that was two episodes ago, so the last episode we woke up in this um, stronghold, this camp of uh, so this group of survivors where, where they have their house, where they have their camp, and they are arguing whether or not they should kill us, or kill me, or whether they should keep me alive, or what they should do with me, because they don't totally trust that the bite is a dog bite and not a walker bite, which is totally understandable. Um, because if I got bit by a walker, I'd be like, no, it was a dog, trust me, seriously, man, it was totally a dog. Um, so I, I totally get why they would want to kill me, uh, but right now I'm trying to plead my case as to why, uh, they shouldn't, as well as, uh, I snuck into the house and I got peroxide, uh, needle, and I got, uh, bait from the tackle box and I'm gonna sew it up myself, which is probably gonna be pretty gruesome, so let's see what happens. I respect you, Clementine. <laughs> Got my apple juice. All right, let's do it, girl. This is gonna suck. Yeah. You most certainly will. All right, first, we sanitize that shit. This is gonna burn. Got a bubble if I know my peroxide. Oh! Ooh! Yep, there's the bubbles. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm good. I'm fine. Pour more in there. Now the fun part. Oh man, let's take a let's take a sip of OJ before we do this shit. Yeah, we got it, we got it, we good. All right. Oh man. No. Just like last time. Just how Krista showed me. All right. Here we go. 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 Ooh, here we go. Uh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that would hurt like a bitch, I would assume. Alright, let's go, girl. Yeah, let's go. Uh. <laughs> I don't know why this video game makes it hurt, but my arm hurts. Really gruesome. Oh, she's gonna pass out. She's gonna pass out. Stay away, Clem. Come on, you got this, girl. Oh, look at this skin like move. That's so. Oh, that's wrong. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You got it, you got it, girl. Oh, that's so gross. Ah. <laughs> hmm. oh. Last one. Come on. Come on, you got it, girl. You got it. Come on, Clem. Oh, man. Oh, that must be painful. Oh, all better though. All better. You deserve another sip of OJ. I mean AJ. Apple juice. Apple drink. All right, let's bandage it. Oh, I knew that was gonna come. Uh, where's the hammer? Oh, 
Yeah, get him. Give him the head. Oh shit! That was really close. No, no, no! Alright, we got it. Where am I going? Where am I going? What is this? A brick? Yeah! Stab him with it! Come on! Come on! Don't do this! He's on me! Oh, there we go. We good. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Alright, let's finish this guy. Oh, no! Oh, well, I screwed that. <laughs> that up. <laughs> what the hell was I supposed to do? <laughs> Come on, Zambi. That's what I was supposed to do. Alright. Watch, I kicked him. Oh, oh my god. End him. End him. End him, Clem. There we go. Look a good girl. Holy shit. What the? How the hell did he get in here? Little girl's tough as nails. Are you alright? Still not bitten. I'm still not bitten. I never was. And you left me out here to die. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? This doesn't change a thing. She hasn't done anything to us. Says the man not carrying a baby. Enough already. I didn't do it alone. I, please. I didn't do it alone. Who helped her? The girl's going through this thing. Bullshit. Bring her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. Damn lurkers sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? Damn right I am. And I'm eating like a fucking queen tonight. After that shit. <laughs> This might hurt a little. Ow. How she look? Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So, it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. Ooh, stomp away, bitch. Stomp away. You was wrong! I wish you wouldn't have done what you did. I was hurt and you weren't helping. I was hurt and you weren't helping. Because we considered you a threat, which you were. Maybe you still are. No, I'm not. We put you in that shed out of concern for the safety of our loved ones. And then you escaped and persuaded my daughter to steal from us. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, but there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially, but once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. If she knew how bad the world is, what it's really like out there, she would cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left, and I would ask that you stay away from her. She right. needs to grow up sometime. You do not know what she needs. Rebecca was worried you might be working with someone else. That your being here was no accident. I guess we'll find out. 
But one thing I know for sure, you are not to be trusted. Stay away from my daughter. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. That's right. Better than losing it. Oh, you can say that again. Scars? They're way cooler than stumps. What? Nothing. I just had a friend who lost his arm once. That's all. Hey, look. I just want to say I'm sorry for... Well, for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and that was definitely not cool. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You definitely had one out there. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... Uh, we had a bad experience once. What happened? Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. I... It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway, hopefully you understand. Hmm. I do. Yeah. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of on my own now. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. You can let yourself heal up. Take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. So, what happened to your parents? If you don't mind me asking. I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. You're so yep. young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. They died. That's tough. I, uh, I lost my folks, too. Hey, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have asked. Parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them, but they were already dead. I found them, though. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. But they were dead. Then I met Lee. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it. But. It didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He taught me how to shoot a gun. What uh, happened to him? Same thing that happened to everyone else. Yep, yeah, exactly. The same thing that happens to everyone. But he saved me first. Lots of times. Well, sounds like he was a real good guy. Yeah, he was. Other than the convicted murderer thing. I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. Couple fresh brookies for dinner? Mm, wouldn't that be nice?
Oh, you're still here. Chig is a bitch. Oh, you're still cheating on your husband then. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Maybe you fooled everyone else, but not me. Don't talk to me like that, Don't bitch. talk to me like that. Oh, what? You can't pull some shit on me. I'm not my husband. You should watch your language if you're going to be a mom. You should watch your ass if you know what's good for you. I just needed some help. Well, you got it. Now go. Whose baby is it? Yes! I love you, Clementine! Yes! Whose baby is it? Excuse me? If it's not Alvin's, whose is it? You shut your fucking mouth! Mm-hmm. You should be nicer to me. Extortion! I love the extortion! Yes. You should probably think about being nicer to me. <laughs> That's just my advice. I knew you were going to be a fucking problem. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment in the comment section below, and subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Take it easy, I'll see you in the next episode.